welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay. I'm a veterinary professional. And if you are not new here, then welcome back. For those who don't know, at the end of 2022, I became a Frenchie mama. I got a little French bulldog puppy. His name is Rocco. Let me just start by saying this is a breed that I never ever thought I would own. Never even thought about until they became, recently became the number one breed in America and I have worked with a lot of them in the veterinary industry and I have fallen in love with their personality and so after a year of research I just decided to bite the bullet and get one for myself and so yes I'm gonna go over the things that you should know if you are thinking about getting a Frenchie so all right let's get into the video the very first thing I'm gonna start with is that they are a very high maintenance breed and require extra care. Now, if you've been living under a rock, <laughs> you may not know that Frenchies are a brachiocephalic breed. Don't know what that means, I'm gonna give you the literal definition. Brachy means shortened, cephalic means head. So they have a very short skull, which gives them a smushed or pushed in appearance. And as you can imagine, this brings up a whole array of health issues. And I'm going to start with the most obvious one, which is respiratory issues. So their airway, their airflow is constricted. This means as an owner, you don't want to subject them to very hot conditions during the summertime. You don't want to subject them to very vigorous activity, get them overstimulated or overexcited where they're going to pant a lot because again, their airflow isn't, it doesn't come as easy as non brachiocephalic breeds. So like I said, just taking extra precaution as an owner. And if you are somebody who likes to go on all these long hikes, like to be outdoors all the time, you know, doing all these crazy things, then this may not be the breed for you and you may want to consider that. So because of the shortened skull, some brachiocephalic breeds such as English Bulldogs, Frenchies, and Pugs, they tend to have a lot of face folds or wrinkles. If we're not careful with cleaning it, it can um, cause bacteria to grow and causing dermatitis. So it's up to us as the owner to routinely clean in between these skin folds to make sure that that bacteria does not build up and cause a skin infection. And there's some products on the market that help you with that. I have some products by Squish Face that really, really helps does the job. There is a lot of wipes such as that there's wipes and then here is the paste i don't know if you guys could see but that is the paste by them like i said that is just a little bit of extra care breeds such as frenchies and pugs they, they have a corkscrew tail this means that the their spinal column has a reduced number of bones at the end of it creating a short tail and then some of the bones are fused together which creates sort of a kinked or curled look this means that the bones don't align perfectly with the neighboring bones in the spine which creates a little bit more instability in the spine this makes them prone to diseases such as ibdd hip dysplasia and other things and also some neurological issues as well and to my surprise is that frenchies in particular are prone to getting elbow fractures and how did i learn this you guys because i had to go through it myself so the day rocco turned five months he was going down maybe three to four steps and on that last step that had a little bit little bigger dip um going to the ground the second he touched the ground, I heard a scream and he was holding up his arm. And so I was ha I happened to be going to work that day. I brought him in with me and we took radiographs and he was officially diagnosed with an elbow fracture. He broke his elbow, you guys, just by going down the steps. And so he had a fracture that could not be repaired by splint. He had to have emergency surgery. It was just, it was super scary. And to think five months old, my little baby's going into an emergency orthopedic surgery is, ugh, it was very stressful. I just wanna warn other owners out there, Frenchie owners and potential Frenchie owners to just be super careful with, you know, not letting their dogs jump off furniture. 
just be careful with stairs because if I would have known this, they're tough dogs, but those bones are fragile. So just take the special precaution and I'm gonna show you the steps that I have. This is foam steps that you can purchase. That is for dogs when they want to jump off furniture. You can have those little foam steps to help them walk. And there's also ramps as well, which is better than the steps. So I just advise just for owners to take that extra, extra precaution with these fragile little guys. With Rocco being on striped cage rest for the next month, recovering from his injury, I decided to get him a new dog bed that is made specifically for his joints to help him with recovery, especially for his little elbow that was broken. So I looked into the luxury orthopedic dog bed by Any Doggo, and I have to say I am pretty impressed. So what I love about this dog bed is that it is made with memory foam that literally molds to his body as he lays on it. This not only minimizes movement, but also provides relief to his joints and his muscles. And it is made with a comfortable suede material that makes sure he sleeps restfully throughout the night and doesn't get too hot as I've often seen him get with the furry or super lush donut dog beds that you often see. Another great thing is that the dog bed cover and the liner underneath is water resistant. I decided to put this to the test because I've gotten a lot of dog beds from Amazon that claim that they are water resistant, but they're not. So I poured water on it and I am happy to say that it definitely passed the test and it holds true to what the company says. And this gives me so much peace because after all, Rocco is a five month old puppy. So he still has his accidents from time to time. So knowing that I could just take the dog bed cover off and put it in the wash, is a game changer that that gives me a lot of peace knowing that it won't seep through into the memory foam and ruin it so that is amazing also a great touch is having removable pillows in case Rocco needs to stretch out even more but they're pretty comfortable so I honestly don't think that's gonna be happening but it's a great touch and as you can see you guys I'm super impressed with this dog bed and I know Rocco will love it just as much as I do Another thing to consider is the Frenchie gas, okay? Oh, goodness. So Frenchies can are prone to GI upset. They can have very sensitive stomachs, which can cause them to easily get gas and diarrhea. Not to mention they have, you know, they have a smushed face. So naturally when they're eating or drinking water, they swallow more air than the average dog, which also causes gas. So if you have not smelled a, a, a fart from a Frenchie before, you may want to before, <laughs> before getting a Frenchie because it is really bad. Like it's not your average you know, silent, deadly fart that you may have has smelled before, it's like on a different level. It's like clear the room bad. So it, it's, it's terrible. When he was a, a puppy, like nine, 10, 11 weeks old, it was constantly, and I had to switch his food to some, another brand and it got so much better. So honestly, the things that you can do as the owner is helping them with their anatomy. So get an elevated food bowl and get a slow feeder so they don't take in as much air when they're eating. And the biggest thing is what you feed them. So just feeding, I'm not a kibble or raw feeder. Like I, I, I'm not gonna go into that whole debate, but I will say just do your research and know your dog. Like if you start with one thing and it it produce, makes them have a lot of GI upset, produce a lot of gas and switch to something else. And if it works for them, hey, go with that. So yeah, all the biggest thing is what you feed your dog. So find out what works for you. All of this brings me to my next point and I am saying please for the love of God if you are thinking about getting a French Bulldog please get pet insurance. Frenchies are prone to many health conditions and even if they're a puppy like puppies are so prone to just many 
different accidents and freak accidents happening, you could never ever predict what will happen. I don't care how reputable of a breeder that you got your dog from, you cannot predict a freak accident or an emergency that comes up or them choking on something or getting hit by a car or, you know, just any, any health condition that may come up. You can't guarantee that it won't happen for your dog. I would have never predicted in two months that I would have needed it as badly as I did. And I would I never predict that I would have used all my deductible money on an emergency surgery that he needed to get because of an accident. I will say with pet insurance, the earlier you enroll your pet, the better, because a lot of policies don't cover pre-existing conditions. And if this issue has been, the issue that you're having, whether it is hip dysplasia or whether it's allergies or whatever, if it's documented by a veterinarian prior to you, you getting that pet insurance, the claim will probably not be covered. So I will say that. So if you are freaking out because you don't have pet insurance, please don't fret because I have an amazing alternative option for you. And that is called the Emergency Fund by PetCube. So what it is, is a subscription for access to 24 seven vet consultations and also emergency coverage for up to $3,000 per year. And I know what you're thinking, like this subscription cost, it sounds like a pet insurance plan right but there are things that definitely separate this from traditional pet insurance policies so number one this plan you will not pay a dime more if you have multiple pets so as a matter of fact you can cover up to six pets on one single plan without it costing more Number two, it does not discriminate against pre-existing conditions. So if your animal has had knee issues all its life, it's been documented in all its records that this dog has knee issues and all of a sudden it throws out its knee, needs an emergency surgery for it, it will still be covered and qualify under the emergency fund even though it has been documented plenty of times before because this plan does not discriminate against pre-existing conditions. Also third, and I think this is the best one, honestly the one I would have benefited most from is that it pays the vet hospital directly. So that means that you don't have to pay the entire thing and then wait for that reimbursement cost like traditional pet insurance plans. All you need to do is just get it approved by a vet consultation and be enrolled in this emergency fund for at least two weeks and you are all good to go. I definitely wish I had this, you know, without paying for Rocco's whole entire surgery and then I had to wait and still waiting to get reimbursed. So I honestly, if I was enrolled in this emergency fund, it would have saved me at least $3,000, which is a big chunk of change. So if you don't, have pet insurance this is something to definitely consider if you're one of those people that just need you know you just need a peace of mind and you just need some emergency coverage in case something an emergency comes up this is definitely a great option other thing when considering getting a frenchie is that they are velcro dogs and can be really needy so the love language of a french bulldog is definitely physical touch Definitely physical touch, out, <laughs> without a doubt. He looks very offended because I'm talking about him right now. So they like to be up under you 24 seven. They are happiest when they are with their owner. And you know, if you get a French Bulldog, know that you won't have any personal space. Just, just say RIP to all of that, right? So if you are someone who, you know, likes their personal space and um, doesn't want their dog to be up there but 24 seven, you may want to reconsider this breed. I am a super cuddly person. I'm a super touchy feely person. And this is all I wanted when getting a pet. I just, I, I wanted a super cuddly animal. So that doesn't bother me at all. Another thing to know about them these guys is that 
They are great apartment dogs. So what I mean by that is they don't need a lot of space to, you know, be happy. They don't need a lot of space to run around or anything, you know, like as I mentioned earlier, they're a breed that doesn't require a ton of exercise. So they're completely, completely satisfied in a small space. They are not huge barkers. I mean, this guy, he only really barks when it comes to like playing with other dogs and he, Maybe if he hears someone like uh, in the hallway or something, he may do a little tiny like <sighs> But yeah, it, it no sound comes out. So he honestly is a super quiet dog, which is great for apartments so that I if you know me, I actually, I was super stuck on getting a golden retriever because I grew up with golden retrievers. But at this point in my life, I am in an apartment and I know if I wanted to get a golden retriever, I would want a big house and a big yard for them to run around in because they're big dogs and they have, they're full of energy and they need that space in at least, you know, to me, I, they need that space, but that's not where I am in my life. And I really, really wanted a dog. So the Frenchie definitely fits my lifestyle because they're great apartment dogs. So as I said, this breed isn't huge barkers, but they do make a lot of crazy noises that you may not be used to if you're not used to having a bulldog. So they can make a lot of snorting noises they can make a lot of gurgling noises that's what gives them personality so i can see if i can like get rocco to do it and when i play with him when i play with him hmm? <gasps> oh yeah yeah oh, are you just tired you're just too tired He's not gonna do it for you guys. Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? <gasps> really? Really? This is the one time he's... <laughs> the one time he's not gonna do it. I think he's just too tired. Are you just too tired to be funny and make your funny noises? caught him at a at nap time another thing to consider is that they snore really loud I sleep with Rocco like he's next to me when I sleep and it's right in my ear so honestly if I put him in his crate it probably would help me a little bit better to be able to sleep sometimes but yeah I mean I want my baby next to me so he's next to me and I have to deal with it but it's worse than a man okay Yeah, it's pretty bad. So um, I'm gonna look into things that could help with that, but they snore. So the last thing I want you guys to consider is that Frenchies can't swim. I only mention this because I do see videos on TikTok where owners think it's funny or whatever to try to put their dog in a pool and, and I just see pure panic on the dog's face. How they're built, their body type, they have a very broad chest, thick muscles, and they're a very stocky dog so they're made to sink instead of swim it's really hard for them to flow and swim in like a golden retriever or a lab who just take to it pretty easily and they love the water frenchies usually don't i know rocco he even like puddles on the ground he does not mess with water okay so i just want to advise you guys to not do that and especially when the summer comes around please don't throw your frenchie in the water and don't have them around any huge body of water without some sort of life jacket and some training so that's all i wanted to say on that all right you guys so Thank you for making it to the end of the video if you got to the end of the video. Um, because Frenchies are getting so popular, I just wanted to make a video on the things that you may or may not be aware of and give advice for things to do to help them with their breed, help them with their conditions because um, they are very special. They're very fragile animals with some health, you know, with some health issues it's no secret and so i just wanted to make a video so you guys are aware and 
again, to educate. I'm always here to educate, never bash. I'm not ever bashing. I love this breed to death. I love him to death. He is the funniest, most loving dog I have ever met. And I'm completely biased when I say that. So thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.